Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to a Eucharistic celebration, streaming live from the Sanctuary of St. Paul the Apostle. The priests and brothers of the Society of St. Paul offer this Mass specially for the entire Francis and our Superior General, Father SSP. We also remember those working overseas, the sick, the homebound, and all the intentions offered through Sambuhay TB Mass and those enrolled in St. Paul Mass Association. We also include in our prayer the for the special intentions of the Obilio Geronimo and family, Globo Asiatico Enterprises, Karen Martin and Jean Pauline Dumawal, Eduardo George D. Villanueva and family, Jose Martin Alvarado, Jan Derek Alvarado, Alcantara and Arsenio family, Jennifer Uy, Fur Okab, Lolita Okab and family. For the Thanksgiving of Dino Dumawal and family, David and Ria Hargel, Celia Go and family, Mafet Flores and family, Rolando Leyesa and family, George D. Villanueva Jr. and family, Vivian Dasso, Alcantara family, for the birthday thanksgiving of Nene Morillo, Jimmy Enot, Chris Lynn, for the good health of Celia Gordi, Nene Mor Morillo, Gio Liam Alcantara, Daniel Adrian Acosta, Renato Enot and family. For the healing and recovery of Brother Lorenzo Vizani SSP, Constante M. Go, Sophia Deb, Veronica Inyegis Lee, Rosalinda Boak, Boy Cristina Dantes, Carlos, Merlin Niesa, Jenny Valario, Alfredo Rodriguez, Lutgarda and Janice Iskandor, Pedro Alcantara, Rosalindo de Jesus, Nino Sabalye, Anne Caitlin and Sablita Costa, Noel Bernhan and Rica Tonog, Jimmy Enod, Mark and Carlene Gamir, Josephine Montero, Mario Silos, Bethilda and AJ Gamir, Eva Resio, Luisa Apostol. For the souls are Mark Anthony Y. Magsalin, Rosasso Sr. and Virginia Hodloman, Guarino and Estefania Dumawal, Ramon, Rene, Mario and Jaime Dumawal, J. Andre Mabatid, Felipe Gam, Dolores and Dominador Mabatid, Jan Gonzalez, Jun Tadena, Filomeno, Victoria, Leonoro and Amad, Amado, Sir Yaco, Pasita, Salvador and Arman Hoxon. Goffing Tuan, Consuelo and Columbus Emgo, Amante and Bella, Chris and Evelyn Nang, Marcela Go, Crescentiana Gallardo, Luisa Lamoste, Francia Benco, Mondo Mateo Santos, Edgardo Lim, Ali, Elvin J. Tudoro, Mabel J. Abano, Victoria Sebastian, Mercy Turdanes, Valentina Nicolas, Melvin and Wilson Go, Lecho Cheng, Yonora Ponce, Manuel Corpus Go, Cornelio Belicina, Bayani M. Sa Captain Nino Antonio B. De La Cruz, Romeo Jim Mutia, Dominador B. Frias, Divina Gracia C., Consuel Con Consolacion de Jesus Garcia, Henry D. Peralta, Ruben, Ruben Moral. Morato Ledesma Sr., Ernesto Basco, Christian Albert De Lim, Jovita Olindan, Virgilio Di Guzman, Carmelita Guzman, Jose Angelo Villaluz, Isedra Caico, Mariano Caico Jr., Ronaldo Caico, Violeta Javier, Jose and Catalina Yatko, Rosenda Inot, Alvin and Pomponio Ocab, Alfredo Galin Galinada, and all the souls in Portugal.
You have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood from every tribe and tongue and people and nation and have made us into a kingdom, priests for our God. Alleluia. Gathering together in thanksgiving, we begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to hear the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, hope and light of the sincere, we humbly entreat you to dispose our hearts to offer you worthy prayer and ever to extol you by dutiful proclamation of your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A Pharisee in the Sanhedrin named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, respected by all the people, stood up, ordered the apostles to be put outside for a short time, and said to the Sanhedrin, Fellow children of Israel, be careful what you are about to do to this man. Some time ago, Theodas appeared, claiming to be someone important, and about 400 men joined him, but he was killed, and all those who were loyal to him were disbanded and came to nothing. After him came Judas the Galilean at the time of the census. He also drew people after him, but he too perished, and all who were loyal to him were scattered. So now I tell you, have nothing to do with these men and let them go. For if this endeavor or this activity is of human origin, it will destroy itself. But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them. You may even find yourselves fighting against God. They were persuaded by him after recalling the apostles, they had them flogged, ordered them to stop speaking in the name of Jesus, and dismissed them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. And all day long, both at the temple and in their homes, they did not stop teaching and proclaiming the Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate His temple. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord, in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. 
Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee, and a large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that the large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, Where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him, because he himself knew what he was going to do. And Philip answered him, Two hundred days' wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. And one of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what good are these for so many? And Jesus said, Have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place. So the man reclined about 5,000 in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, he gave thanks, distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had their fill, he said to the disciples, Gather the fragments left over so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled twelve wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, This is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang araw po sa lahat, lalo na sa ating mga taga-subaybay ng sa Buhay TV Mass. Now, if you have noticed, for a while, the Gospel reading last week were focused on the conversation of Jesus and Nicodemus, trying to uh, make us realize that in order to be sharers of the eternal life, we must also be able to be born again in spirit and in water. Trying to make us realize the importance of the sacrament of baptism in order to be sharers of the gift of the risen Lord. But the conversation of Nicodemus and Jesus talks about the sacrament of baptism in our lives when we are immersed in water or the water is poured on us as a symbol of our dying to sin and rising again with Christ who have defeated uh, death has given us life. But today, we now shift to the focus on the bread. Here we have the miracle of the multiplication of the bread. And eventually, Jesus trying to identify himself as the bread of life. Here in the multiplication of the bread, here we could see that, uh, that the disciples themselves were able to recognize Jesus as reason in the time when they were breaking bread with them. In this particular gospel reading, hear the importance also of the Eucharist. If God is alive, then he must be here and now. If God is alive, then we could truly feel God's presence today. The Eucharist is our connection to the risen Christ. The Eucharist is the sacrament of the risen Jesus. As what St. Augustine also once said, we become what 
we eat. The Eucharist then would give us also a new emphasis on our life, a new focus on our life. The Eucharist then would lead us to a transcendence, just what had happened in our Gospel reading today with Philip and Andrew. They were looking and uh, only looking at the limitations. Philip said, what good we have? Mahal Machado, where could we get that 200 worth of wages? Just for a little for these too many crowds. Andrew said, we have a little boy here. What has it got to do with this uh, large, large crowd? Hindi bakayanan. The Eucharist then invites us to go beyond the limitations. The Eucharist then has indeed given us the grace to look on the possibilities. It is only in the Eucharist when we offer ourselves that great miracles would happen. And today, my dear friends, we are also reminded that in this Eucharist, we are called to look at the divine grace in the ordinary. The bread was just very ordinary. The fish was only very ordinary. But giving it to Christ, everything would be possible. And most importantly, the Eucharist invites us for fellowship. And just as the multiplication of this bread was given to all, we are also called that when we receive the Holy Eucharist, we are called for a communion. We are called for a fellowship. It is not only so much of me and my God, Lord, I love you, na wala kong pakailan sa iba, but rather the Eucharist must lead us to be able to be uh, sharers also to others in our relationship with one another, in communion with one another. Today, we ask for that grace. We ask for that grace that as we continue in our faith journey, we will be able to go beyond our limitations, offering to God all that we have, because with God, everything is possible. And giving everything to God, we would also be able to lead ourselves in fellowship with one another. Amen. Jesus multiplied loaves and fish in the mountain to feed the hungry multitude. Let us pray for the needs of the hungry and the poor and for the strength to come to their assistance as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the ministers of the church may feed without fail the people of God in the table of the word and in the table of the Lord's body, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government and civil agencies may attend to the people's need for food, shelter, and security. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Like the boy who offers five barley loaves and two fish, may, be, may we be generous with our little resources, which the Lord will multiply to answer the needs of many. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. As we pray for those who are hungry, May the Lord touch our hearts and open our hands to feed them, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. May we thank the Lord for the gift of food that restores our strength. For those who work to produce what we eat and for those who prepare it at table, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, open our eyes that we may see the deepest needs and children. Teach us that generosity that welcomes the hungry, the thirsty, the strangers, and those who suffer in any way. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, we may be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your strength this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has arisen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, who our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints, with blessed James, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread, bread and, forgive and forgive us our trespasses. Our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Prayer During Communion for those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me, I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart. Detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Christ our Lord was handed over for our transgressions and was raised again for our justification. Alleluia. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying Christ by our lives.
Thanks be to God. Thank you for celebrating the Eucharist with us. We would also like to thank our online community and all the overseas Filipino workers who have been supporting the ministry through their continued prayers and love offerings. Your generosity has enabled us to carry out our mission of spreading the gospel of Christ. God bless you all. We now invite you to pray our devotional prayers. Invocations to Jesus, Master. Jesus, Master, sanctify my mind and increase my faith. Jesus, teaching in the church, draw everyone to your school. Jesus, Master, deliver me from error, thoughts, and from eternal darkness. Jesus, way between the Father and us, I offer you all and await. Jesus, way of sanctity, a faithful imitator. Jesus, way, render me perfect as the Father who is in heaven. Jesus, life, live in me so that I may live in you. Jesus, life, do not permit me to separate myself from you. Jesus, life, grant that I may live eternally in the joy of your love. Jesus, truth, may I be light for the world. Jesus, way, may I be example and model for souls. Jesus, life, may my presence bring grace and consolation everywhere. Amen. Prayer to the Sacred Heart Jesus, Divine Master, I thank and bless your most lovable heart for the great gift of the Holy Eucharist. Your love makes you dwell in the Holy Tabernacle. Renew your passion in the Mass and give yourself as food for our souls in Holy Communion. May I know you, hidden God. May I draw salutary waters from the font of your heart. Grant me the grace to visit you every day in this sacrament to understand and actively participate in Holy Mass to receive Holy Communion often with faith and love. Sweetheart of my Jesus, make me love you more and more. Saint Joseph, we venerate you as the model of laborers, the friend of the poor, the consoler of the afflicted, and those forced to leave their own land, the saint of divine providence. On earth, you represented the universal goodness and concern of the Heavenly Father. You were the carpenter of Nazareth and work teacher to the Son of God, who became a humble laborer for us. Assist with your prayers all who labor in intellectual, moral, and material work. For the nations obtain legislation inspired by the gospel, the spirit of Christian charity, a way of governing in accord with justice and peace. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us.